Radio Grade 11s, I'm going to take a moment and talk you through the important drawings needed in Phase 2 of your Grade 11 HD PAT task. So let's start off with the floor plan. And I'll give you a couple of examples here of students' work. Remember, you are designing an entrance gate, which will have an entrance and an exit. Your layout, of course, can be different depending on your design. But it must have a full guardhouse with an office area, a kitchen area, as well as a bathroom, etc. All right, and then there's a perimeter fence on the sides that you will have to also, just the start of that, include in your drawing. So on the floor plan, remember, I want the full view from where the boundary fences start, the actual entrance, um, and then your guardhouse. Elements here that's important is your electrical fittings. And again, please use the correct symbols. These symbols aren't necessarily correct. According to Suns, your built-in cupboards, remember that's also not the correct symbol for a kitchen sink. Your bathroom, you need your roof line, all your different hatchings. And then your entrance gate, you need the gate with the direction. Uh, your cutting planes, you need to remember that. Again, the exit gate, please label both of them. And then you can see you have plenty of measurements. And that's also important because, remember, this proposal is actually in effect for someone to actually go and build what you've designed. So you have to include all the different measurements. But you can see here a well thought out um, uh, 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 gate design. You've got your windows indicated. It's clearly labeled floor plan. I'm just going to pan you over here to the right hand side and see the title block because this is a lot of times neglected by learners. But you have to absolutely nail this title block. You've got your project title, your drawing title, the drawing number, the date, date checked, the client, the scale, your north arrow. And you have to leave space for your revisions. You need to leave space for notes and of course any schedule, symboling. Uh, for windows, electrical fittings, etc. Leave space for that. That's a full title block and that must be present on your first drawing, which will be your floor plan. Let's quickly look at a few other examples. This learner actually stuck his on a, on a black uh, cardboard. Now, you can do that, but I really actually prefer it if it's just plain on a white page where you have an actual border that was hand drawn. Okay, but let's look at the actual drawing here. You can see a very High quality drawing, remember this is grade 11, so it needs to be at a high standard. You don't have to show loose furniture, right? We're just looking for fixtures, built-in cupboards, toilets, etc. Again, not all the symbols on this one is done correctly according to Suns, but you have to do yours. Just look at how neatly the um, measurements are included here. It's clearly labeled. The hatching is very neat. We see the gate, we see the direction of opening, etc. And again, a full title block here on the side. Let's go on to the next drawing. Okay, the next requirement for you is two elevations and this learner actually draw for us all four elevations. You need to just do two and I prefer a either a, uh, in our case it's going to be a north elevation which is the main elevation as people approach the school. That's going to be the first uh, view of the entrance gate that they see. Um, so make sure your elevation is to a high quality and then do at least one other one. It can be, for instance, the south or east or west. In this case, you can see, see it. Please make sure that on these elevations, you clearly indicate finished floor level, natural ground level. You've indicated at least a couple of core measurements, core heights. All right. Remember your window detail, uh, door detail, steps, etc., uh, that's going to be important. And again, each and every page, please neatly frame with your title block. Let's look at another example. Okay, here we have two more examples of elevations for the entrance gate. But you see they only included the guardhouse. And you cannot just include the guardhouse. You need to have on the sides, or wherever you're going to have, your actual entrance gate part. So really your scale needs to zoom out so that we really see the full scope of your entrance gate your two gates uh, your boundary wall you can just show that with a break but that's the view i'm looking for please okay let's take a look at the 
sectional elevation. So that's where you're going to show me your foundation, your foundation walls, damp proof course, concrete, your finished floor level. I need to see your window detail here. So you need to cut through a window and at least a door on the other side. That will be your lintels on top, your door frame. Um, and you just have to do up to ceiling height. So you're not going to enter the wall plates or the ceiling. You can stop there. But it's all that detail. Make sure you label it correctly, DPC, national ground level, and add a couple of key measurements for us in this drawing. This is an uh, example. Let me see if I have another one. Okay, here's another quality uh, sectional elevation. You can see it's clearly labeled. It corresponds with the uh, cutting plane on the floor plan. And again, all the different hatchings uh, really done to a grade 11 standard. Key measurements also included. That's what I really like from this, this specific drawing. So make sure you get that same quality drawing for elevation. Let's go on to the site plan. Okay, so your site plan is really to give an overview of the site and where the placement is for your entrance gate. And on this drawing, I've given you two samples in uh, your actual task of the entire site with the different measurements. So please make sure you draw it to scale. Remember, yours looks a little bit different. The entrance has moved now to roundabout in this area. So please draw that. Show us clearly in red the positioning of that and get that site plan to a very high standard. Okay, the last drawing that I want to talk you through is the two-point perspective. And for this, you'll have to do a bit of trial and error to get this one right. Um, but you're going to start off with a top view and a front view here. And you can actually use a two-point perspective of a building that you've done during the year to get for you an indication of where you put your picture plane, your horizontal line, your ground line. And you're going to, of course, use those details Project them down to get your two-point perspective of your entrance gate. Let's look at another example here. Okay, this child opted not to include the gate area, and you can do that. Uh, but again, a good quality. Started off with the top view and the side view, and then drawn two-point perspective. And this is the picture that I want you to photocopy and stick for me on the front cover of your pet when you hand in your final pet let's look at this child he actually went and colored this in there we have it beautiful on the front um, it's a two-point perspective clearly showing uh, what is envisioned for this entrance gate okay that's it that's the talk through to the various drawings necessary now it's your turn